I'm Matt Latham and I'll be talking about Rabbit's auditory system today. Uh, a rabbit has a similar auditory system to that of a human. Like a human's, a rabbit's ear is made up of three parts, the outer, the middle, and the inner ear. Each of these parts is essential for this animal to hear and survive in the wild. Rabbits have very unique ears. A rabbit can move its ears independently from one another in order to pick up different sounds and dangers. The outer ear is very important because it allows the animal to hear soft noises up to two miles away. Rabbits have a more developed sense of hearing than when it's compared to its other senses. Not only do these creatures use their large ears to hear, but they also use them to cough on a hot day. Inside the middle ear is, are the three obstacles, the hammer, the anvil, and the stirrup. These transfer the pressure of the sound wave from the eardrum to the fluid-filled inner ear. This process is identical to the auditory system of a human being. Furthermore, the inner ear contains the cochlea and the organ of corti. The hair cells move in the organ of corti when a sound rage reaches them. The brain processes this electrical pulse as a sound. Rabbits rely on their acute sense of hearing to detect threats in the wild. Their frequency range is from 360 hertz to 36 or 42,000 hertz, which is higher than that of a human's, which is from 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. Uh, my sources used for this paper were frequency hearing ranges in dogs and other species from the Louisiana State University and rabbit ears, a structural alert by Jana Ripple.